All right guys, hope you're doing well. In this video, we're gonna do a bit of a test. We're gonna test out which way you should lay one of these, which is what you call a frog brick. The sun's shining now, it was snowing this morning. If you wanna know the correct way to lay it, stick around. All right guys, so this is what we call a frog brick. Okay, and a frog, a frog is just a deviation in the brick. It just helps with the casting and the molding of the brick, it makes it easier to come out the form. So one side, you can get them one-sided frogs, and you can get some double-sided frogs as well. But this one is just an example I got, is just a single-sided frog. Compared to your other bricks, which are more perforated holes in the middle, both sides. Now the, the question is which way should you lay these? Should you lay them frog up or frog down? Well, it's been a debated term over the years, but now you can't lay them frog down. They have to be laid on site frog up. Okay, and I'll, I'll tell you why in a minute. The reason why you can't lay them frog down anymore is because of, I think it's mostly due to the old types of brick where the frog was, it was deeper and the edges of the brick were thinner. Okay, so what starts to happen now is, is the, the pressure of the brick goes onto those thin edges and it starts wearing away and, and cr cracking and all sorts. So, but this is like a, it's a shallower frog and the, the edges of the brick are thicker now. So I think they've tried to improve on that for people that do lay frog down anyway. But yeah, on site you're not, not allowed to lay frog down. He's always frog up. But also we'll do a little test as well. So they've been laid frog up. And let's lay the second core. See, so the idea is you fill you fill these frogs. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll take these off to just see if it's full. See the bed's flat there, totally flat. All right, and all that frog's been filled. You see, so that's why we have to lay frog up. So that all the frogs are solid. And when there's pressure on there on a big house, on a house, as pressure goes through there and it goes through the hole of the brick. You know what I mean? The pressure goes through the hole of the brick. So we'll try. I'm going to try a lay frog down now. We'll do, we'll take these off now to see if, if they've been filled. I'll just... There's one. That's quite full, that frog. So the pressure's going to be even through that. And that's a little bit of a void in that, you see see that void see this one's full here so this is a good example this really so this is why I'm saying it depends really on how much mortar you're spreading down you see so you can see that's clearly full that so the pressure going downwards would be evenly throughout the brick in the middle and on the edges of here try and take this camera off for you that it does depend on how much mortar you spread down I think you see that this frog has been has been filled here, so then the pressure downwards going through this brick would be even throughout the whole of this brick, and it wouldn't be just on the edges of the brick. You see. Now the other one here, it's a little bit shy on mortar. You see, it's not as full as that, so the pressure would be exerted more on the sides, and of course there's, the, there's going to be a void in the middle, so it could get weather in the. Now, granted, I have laid frog down before on a couple of jobs, and I have used these bricks, these frog bricks, which are quite shallow, but I, I put plenty of mortar on, you see. I've never done it on site because you're not allowed, so, but I am conscious of laying frog down. You have to fill your beds, and you'll, you'll still get a full, a full bed of mortar on it with these shallow frogs. With the old bricks, these type of bricks here, these have got really deep frogs. 
So I think they base it really on the frog, the frog down, frog up issue. They base it on those old bricks, which are really deep frogs. They're really deep frogs, and the edges are about 10 mil. You see, these are less, and the the thickness of the edges is more. So it's no excuse. I mean, you're still not allowed to lay frog frog down for that reason, for this reason here. I mean, it is possible to lay frog down, as I've just showed you. It's possible to lay frog down and fill your your beds. So, I mean, it, it depends on how you spread your mortar, if you put plenty in. I mean, being honest, that, that would have been filled if I'd had any more mortar. I've only mixed a bit. So, if you put plenty of mortar on, you can lay frog down. You know, because the load bearing on the wall and the pressure would go through the entire brick and the the frog would be full, that's the main thing. It's not, so it's not against the law to lay a frog down if you're gonna fill your, your beds, like I've just showed on this one here. But again, you wanna avoid that if you lay a frog down. If you're on site, it's a big no-no to lay a frog down. So there you have it folks, that's the test. Should you lay a frog up or a frog down? The answer is, if you're on site, you've gotta lay a frog up, just to avoid making voids in your mortar. But I suggest, I mean, it's up to you. If you are conscious of filling your beds, then put plenty of mortar on and you can still lay a frog down. And I've just showed you in that example here that you can lay a frog down with a full bed of mortar. If I'd have had more mortar, they'd have both been full, I think. With the shallower frogs on the bricks, you can, it is possible to lay a frog down and, and have your beds full. I think it's really interesting, don't you think? Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that little test there. Hope you found it useful. If you did, please leave a like rating. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers guys.